What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. My name is Michael and today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts with you on werewolves and other were creatures in Elder Scrolls 6. Firstly, I'd like to say that were creatures are generally contextual. Anywhere creatures we see in Elder Scrolls 6 will heavily depend on where the game is set. Werewolves themselves, however, are found in all areas of Tamriel, and being the most common lycanthrope will very likely be in the next game. That being said, however, there is something I think we should all keep in mind, and that is that while these were creatures are mostly found in their specified regions, they all have an original form. They all transform into the man, myrrh, and beast races we see in the game. They're dark elves, nords, wood elves, whatever, which means that any were creatures could be anywhere, depending on where the person who is the were creature decides to travel. So let's talk about some of these were creatures. The Bosma land of Valenwood is home to airborne were creatures. There are were vultures and even were bats. Imagine the possibilities if you could play as a flying were creature and roam the night skies looking for prey. It sounds incredible in theory, but personally, I think flying were creatures being playable would be quite unlikely. It would allow you to fly to places that you aren't supposed to go, which could break certain aspects of the game. However, we'll have to see how it all pans out. You can't rule it out for sure, but as I said, it's the least likely option. Looking at something that's more likely in my opinion, we have the werebores of Hammerfell and High Rock. Having the game set in Hammerfell, for example, is something many people want, and werebores too are a favourite of many fans. They are of course a lot more likely than werevultures and bats due to their grounded nature, and they have also been playable in Daggerfall, so it would be quite nostalgic as well. There's also of course the werebears we've seen in Skyrim and Solstheim, and they exist in Northern Morrowind, High Rock, and Cyrodiil too. In the land of Blackmarsh, we have were crocodiles, and they're known to lurk in isolated swamps. You can also find them in the most southern parts of Morrowind. There's even were lions that exist in elsewhere Blackmarsh and Cyrodiil. And finally, we have the were shark, which is surrounded by mystery. All I have to say is that having some sort of underwater playable were creature sounds like a lot of fun. Remember too that these were creatures aren't just pure species. A were shark isn't just a person turning into a shark, it's a whole monster of its own. You'd be a shark like beast that could fight well on land and then swim super fast in water. Similarly to the airborne were creatures though, it doesn't sound as likely as the land based ones, but again, you can never be 100% certain what exactly Bethesda will do. I also want to say that the werewolf perk system is something that was really well done in Skyrim, and I think it should still be there in Elder Scrolls 6, having effect on any new playable were creatures. Also, for those of you who are familiar with the features in the Moonlight Tales mod, we think that these should be in the next Elder Scrolls game. Things like jumping higher and being able to customize your aesthetics would be awesome. With customization though, it would have to be something you either choose to be permanent when obtaining beast form, or something that's dependent on your stat allocation or race. Perhaps Dunmar are more likely to have red eyes as a were creature. Finally, we do love to learn more about the Daedra, as you know. As we said in our Morag Tong video, a Morag Tong guild would allow us to explore Mafala in more depth. Having more were creatures present and even a guild based around them in Elder Scrolls 6 could provide an opportunity for some fresh Hercene exploration. Perhaps we'd even be able to roam his hunting grounds. And that wraps up this week's Elder Scrolls 6 video. Thanks for watching everyone and I'm sure you all have plenty to say in the comments about what you think regarding were creatures in the next Elder Scrolls game. Be sure to tell us what you think and also subscribe if you do enjoy talking about the Elder Scrolls with us. My name is Michael, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, links are in the description and I look forward to seeing you all soon.